I have another flashlight review for you. This is the Workhouse TS26S EDC flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank Workhouse for sending out the TS26S EDC flashlight so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features, the physical and performance specification, and its modes of operation. Then we'll get outside and do some demonstrations. As usual, just before we take a closer look at the light, let's have a look at what it came with. This is the box the light came in. Inside of the box, only a couple of items. One, of course, is a USB Type-C charging cable and a small bag that contains a lanyard and a pair of spare O-rings. By the way, there is no manual came with mine. It could be because it was pre-production or early production. Not quite sure why. However, inside of the flashlight, there is a 5,000 milliamp hour, 21,700 lithium ion battery. And on the outside of the flashlight, there is a two-way pocket clip. But it is worth knowing it is non-removable. You can't reverse it or take it off of the light. All right, now as far as key features for this light go, this is what's kind of interesting, what well, different anyway for lights that I have. As you can see, very shallow reflector and four LEDs. And the the claim for this light, it's actually, it's kind of cool at about 5,000 degrees Kelvin. So you'll see when we get it outside, it's more to the yellow side than it is to the white or even bluish side of a hotter flashlight might be. But it does have a CRI or color rendition index of greater than 95. So I think that is significant for people who are looking for that kind of fidelity in their color rendition. And the other feature that it has is a magnetic tail cap. And uh, let's go on to the physical specifications. So the four LEDs are what is known as 519A LEDs, again rated at 5000K. Overall length 4.8 inches, which is 122 millimeters. Diameter at its widest 1.4 inch or 35 millimeters. Weight with the battery in, of course, 6.4 ounces or 181 grams. And it is IP68 waterproof, dustproof rated, and an impact resistance of one meter. All right, I'll rotate the light for some closer looks as we go through the performance specification. So at its lowest, it has an eco mode of three lumens rated to last 325 hours. It has a low of 30 lumens rated to last 68 hours. It has a medium of 200 lumens rated to last 12.75 hours. It has a high, and this is kind of different for lights, a high that starts out at 750 lumens, lasting one hour, and then it will drop to 350 lumens, lasting 1.7 hours, and then it will drop again to 220 lumens, lasting another 1.5 hours. I don't think I've had another flashlight in my hands that had that kind of a rating for it. And honestly, I don't know that I'd even have it on high for a long period of time to notice the drops. It does have a turbo that comes in, or at least starts out at 3,100 lumens, lasting for two minutes. And then it drops down to 750 lumens, lasting for an additional 2.5 hours. It does have strobe, blasting note at the full 3,100 lumens. An SOS blasting note at 200 lumens and a beacon blasting out at the full 3100 lumens. Now as far as the operating system goes, one of the things I truly appreciate about this light is just how simple it is. Very much like a lot of other flashlights, very intuitive indeed. Simple on off with the button on the side. If you want to cycle through the lumens, turn the light on and then hold the button. It'll cycle low, medium and high. Turn it off and it does have memory for the last lumen setting. If you want to go directly to eco, it's just press and hold right down to eco and then off again. If you want to go directly to turbo, either with the light off or the light on, it's a double tap. And you can see how bright that gets and the camera compensates. If I want to go to strobe, it is a triple tap. To go to SOS, I triple tap again. And if I want to go to beacon, I triple tap again. And then I can turn the light off. And when I turn it back on, it's whatever the last lumen setting was. In this case, of course, was high. All right, we'll start this demonstration off with the workhouse on low. Lots of light immediately at my feet, but it's not shining out very far. Take it up to medium. 
We're starting to get quite a bit of light in the backyard here, but again, it's all flooding. It's wide up. It actually covers most of the backyard. Take it up to high. A lot of light. Nothing very direct, nothing like a spotlight, just a lot of flood. And let's just take it up to turbo. That is a lot of light. It's like daylight in my backyard back here. Very impressive. A few closing comments for the Workhouse TS26S EDC flashlight. Now, before I go into my pros and cons, I just want to address the name, or at least part of the name, EDC, Everyday Carry, and just define that a little bit. For me, this is not an everyday carry flashlight. It's just way too big. For me, an everyday carry flashlight is something small that goes on my keychain or something that I can put in my pocket and not really notice the weight or the bulk of it. Now, having said that, for you, EDC might be something different. If you have a need for a flashlight that has a lot more capability than the little tiny ones will offer you, this may be your EDC flashlight. So I just wanted to put that out there. What I consider this is, is a great general purpose flashlight. Definitely not tactical, but one that I will have on my nightstand or next to my computer or anywhere where it, I need to grab a flashlight in a hurry when it's in the dark and know where it is. Great performance for that type of light. Now, let's get into the pros and cons. Now, as far as the pros go, um, I guess it is the four LEDs on the front of this light. This is the first light I've had that had that type of an arrangement, and I wasn't sure what to expect. So when I turned it on, and as you saw when we got it outside, this light is all about flood. That's what it is. It is a flood light. And for the use that I put it through, or the use I expect out of it being a, a general purpose light, I think that's ideal. It's not a tactical flashlight. It's not meant, or a search and rescue light. It's not meant to reach out long distance. It's meant to cover a wide area, in a room or outdoors. And that light, and this light really does do that well, as you saw. Uh, the color of the light, 5000K. Cooler than most of the lights, especially the tactical lights that I have, which range in the 6000 to 6500K. And I, you know, I wasn't sure if I wanted that warmer yellowish light, but uh, I got used to it and it does have that high color rendition index. So, you know, if I'm using it with photos or camera outside, it, this should do a better job of making true to life colors. That's what that's all about. The other thing I really like about it, and of course is now becoming more commonplace and should be, is a magnetic tail, tail cap. Whether you call this EDC or general purpose light, having that tail cap magnetic means it just adds to the versatility of being able to put this somewhere where, well one, it's flat and you can tail stand it, but you can put it on anything metal and aim it at the work area that you have. So it does a good job there. Uh, let's go on to the pocket clip. You know, the two-way pocket clip is okay. The way it is situated on the light, I would prefer that the primary next to the light itself be at the other way. In other words, from the, the, the far end of the light, not this way. But I can't change that. This is not something I can change. And I'm going to say that's the single biggest con that I recognize on this light is the pocket cap itself. Or the pocket cap, the pocket clip itself. The fact that I cannot remove it or change direction of it. I think that's a bit of a miss. Do you know, though, when you look at this light, it's aesthetically very pleasing because of the unique way that the grooves are on the side of the barrel. Well, not only aesthetically pleasing, it turns out to be very practical as well. Nice grip, nice secure grip on it. And finally, something that I've preached on for quite often with flashlights that have a side button, this one is raised so that you have no problems finding it without looking at the light. You just roll it into your hand, hand until you find that bump on the light and your, light, your finger is right on the switch. So these are great features indeed. Okay, that's my thoughts on the Workos TS26S EDC flashlight. What are your thoughts? Put them in the comments section below. If you have any questions, put those in the comments section below. I'll put all the information, including the links and the specifications for this light in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.